Okay, it is Monday Memorial Day night, May 29. I just flew in from Nashville to Gainesville because tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to Sunshine State RVs to pick up my brand new 2023 Winnebago Travato 59K. I'm super excited and as the channel name should tell you, I am a total newbie at this. I've never gone RVing. I've never owned an RV, let alone a class B van sized RV. This is kind of a new adventure for me and really for my family, my wife and my two dogs, but I'm gonna get some rest cause I'm freaking tired. Someone from the dealership is going to pick me up here from the hotel tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna get some sleep. Six hours later. Right across the street from the hotel is a place called Mods Cafe. I'm a vegan eater and lucky for me, they had this breakfast wrap that was uh, tofu scramble, soy sausage, vegan A's, spinach tomato. They also had vegan cupcakes, that's a carrot cake cupcake, and my tea. So if you're ever in Gainesville, check out Mods Cafe. <laughs> Kevin? Yeah. Cool, nice to meet you. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me because I have the AC on full blast because it is 4.30 p.m. here in Gainesville, Florida, and it's like almost 100 degrees. It's hot, it's sunny, I kind of knew that this was going to be the case when I bought it, but the AC seems to be doing well. So I didn't film the actual walkthrough at Sunshine State RVs and all the paperwork and stuff. But actually you can watch a full walkthrough tour of the van. Hank Strange from the Stranger Palooza channel and Nick from Sunshine State RVs actually did a very thorough video of the exact Travato that I bought. So I'll put a link to their video right here. But I have to give a big shout out to Austin and Corey and Richie and the rest of the crew at Sunshine State RV for making today easy as pie. What? Oh, that's Austin calling me right now. Hold on. Okay, I'll do that right now. Another good thing that I'm not sure if I told you about that Sunshine State RV will reimburse your flight. If you happen to be flying in from out of state to Gainesville, they will reimburse your flight cost, which is awesome, which I have to send the uh, receipt to him right now. But anyway, immediately after I, I left the dealership, I wanted to buy some supplies for tonight because when you buy a van from Sunshine State RVs, you get a lot of perks. One of them being they give you two free nights at a local RV resort. It's not really a campground. It's like a really nice resort with a pool. It's called Santa Fe Palms RV Resort, which is where I'm at right now. So they give you two free nights here uh, kind of to test out, you know, the, the van and, and make sure you know how everything works, which is great. I'm only planning on staying one night, so I needed to get some supplies for my little sleepover here. So I went to Target, REI, and Whole Foods, which seem to be in the same kind of general area here in Gainesville. So it's super convenient. And I got some supplies like, you know, paper plates, paper towels, drinking water, and then some, you know, groceries, mostly microwave frozen stuff, which is awesome now that I have a microwave and a freezer because before this, when I was doing road trips, I was basically eating like this, which was a little 12 volt cooler, no microwave out of the back of my trunk. So being that I have the microwave and the fridge and freezer combo, plus a table to eat at, as well as the other accoutrements, which I'll get into later. It's so much nicer. The fact that I could wash my hands in a sink right there, it makes a difference in my comfort, that's for sure. I'm planning on leaving uh, in the morning right after breakfast so I can get an early start because I'm driving back to Nashville. I do have to go through Atlanta, so I'm kind of apprehensive about that. Atlanta traffic is always bad, no matter what time usually. So I am going to unpack all the stuff that I bought, kind of clean up around here because it's kind of like I just moved in. I'm gonna try to stay in here as much as possible till the sun goes down. One hour later. It is now 10 to 6 p.m. Sun, it's gotten cloudy so the sun's been covered up which is good. Probably about 73 degrees in here. So now it's cool, I have the AC on low. Maybe I'll just give you guys a real quick tour 
turn on some lights. But real quickly, if you've never seen a Winnebago Travato 59K, this has the rear bath. We got your toilet, real porcelain toilet, never been used yet. Uh, drop down sink, faucet swings out, swings back. This actually doubles as your shower as well. Uh, there's a shower pan down here. There's a curtain that goes along this track that I haven't installed yet. But basically, you stand here. There is a shower wand here with an on-off switch so you can take like a little navy shower. My uh, camp spot or whatever is right across. That building right there is where there's two showers, two private showers and two private toilets. I don't want to carry anything in my black tank just yet if I can help it. Obviously you got some pocket doors to keep it private. Nice. Two twin-ish. They say they're twin beds. Uh, I can't remember the last time I slept on a twin bed. This feels smaller than a twin bed. The length is longer on this other side. I don't know if you can tell closer to the TV it's a little bit longer. Another cool thing is if you slide this little section here you can lay down some of the pillows that it comes with and it makes basically i guess like a king size these kind of mattress areas are deceptively high it's not really convenient to sit on and have your feet resting anyways i got the tv working uh, i'm hooked up to the uh, Wi-Fi here at the RV park, it seems to be working okay. I have, uh, what is this, Amazon Prime hooked up. Sound bar actually sounds better than my sound bar at home. Maybe it's just because it's a smaller space. I'm actually kind of getting f cold. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sitting right underneath the uh, AC unit and it's been, been going for a couple hours now. And now that the sun is going down, it's, uh, it's getting nice here. Kitchen area is a little cluttered. I just ate some food. I had some ice cream and uh, that's the cab. I uh, put the uh, window shades up that come with the van. At least the side ones are fastened on with magnets. So those are easy to put up. This one, you kind of just figure out how it fits and it kind of Velcros in the middle. This is what you call the pizza oven storage. So this is where the shades were. There's actually a rug so there's a rug here that's for the front cab. Is this another rug? Because I bought a rug at Target for here. And I think this might actually be the rug that fits in the space. You got all the panels up here, which I pre-learned before I picked this up. I watched so many videos on YouTube. I think I even downloaded the, uh, the Travato manual and read through the whole thing before I even came down here. This is basically how you control everything from your electricity to your hot water, to your heat, inverter, propane. So I'm gonna take you outside and give you a, a brief tour of this campground. So I am in spot 109. There's nobody next to me. There's a little bit of traffic on that side but all in all it's a nice quiet campground like i said this is the first time i'm doing any of this stuff i really don't know what to expect at an rv resort it's raining a little bit as you can see most of the people here have bigger fifth wheels class a's I was going to go in the pool this evening, cool off, but the rain is actually doing a decent job. So this is the pool. This is the pool open from dawn till dusk, I was told. So this is the bathroom shower house. Garbage dump, trash bins. Um, and that's it. And back to my spot. I always feel the need to pull it like a minivan where you pull it back, but you actually have to pull it out first and then push it. Awning is on, extend. There we go. It's very peaceful here. It's very quiet. I'm going to get a beverage. God, it's so nice to have a good fridge. I guess I'm gonna try to videotape little bits of what I'm doing, which is probably going to sleep tonight, waking up, eating breakfast, and getting out of here. 
I got a long drive to Nashville. Two hours later. Okay, it is uh, eight o'clock-ish. Still got a little bit of light out. I'm gonna try the microwave for the first time. I got me some uh, vegan lasagna. This is a convection and it's a grill a roasting oven. So to use it as a regular microwave, I need to take the metal part out. All right, it says it's 71 in here. I've been sweating all day long and it's the humidity like so quick background I used to live in Florida for many years northern Florida southern Florida central Florida and I kind of left it because of the heat and humidity this whole day I've been sweating you have that 24 7 kind of like sweat So I say that I'm a class B RV newbie, and I am. Although I've never owned an RV, I've never owned a van. I have sort of some experience with traveling in a, a bus. So I'm a professional musician. Part of my career was spent a lot on tour buses and obviously flying around and stuff. But for a good number of years, I basically lived on a tour bus with other bandmates. While that's nothing like camping or, you know, RVing, a lot of these panels kind of look familiar. You know, when I was touring, that was the first time I ever heard the term shore power, inverter, generator, running the Jenny. It kind of feels like this is my own personal tour bus or like a tour bus for two. You know, TV, stereo, kitchen. Although on the tour bus, we didn't really have a burner stove, but we had microwave fridge, sinks, all that stuff. So it feels a little familiar in that sense, but kind of totally different than a tour bus. A lot of times when we would play at like music festivals, instead of like a backstage dressing room, they would have trailers set up where there was a, a really nice fifth wheel or, or a travel trailer or some sort like that. So as far as like doing camping stuff, I used to go on summer camping trips with my classmates when I was like nine or 10, but I do remember enjoying it. And I haven't done any kind of camping. I think I did some camping like in college, but as far as like going to national parks, hiking, all that stuff, which, you know, I'd like to do with this vehicle. The sole purpose of me buying this vehicle was really to be able to travel. So my wife and I and our two dogs, I think this is the perfect vehicle for people with dogs that want to travel with their dogs because there's plenty of room for them. You can bathe them, you can feed them inside of your vehicle. Whereas when we used to travel, you know, in an SUV or a truck, we would have to stop somewhere and either feed them in the parking lot or we would get a hotel room and feed them in there. And it was such a hassle bringing stuff from the car up to the hotel room and back. So doing that multiple times, it just, that's kind of how I got the idea in my head that maybe an RV or some kind of drivable RV would be the best thing for us because that way we could finally travel and we could take our dogs with us. I personally have not been on a vacation since January of 2015. That was the last time I actually took a vacation and to have a vehicle that is basically a home on wheels is perfect. So I'm really excited about that. Later. Okay, so I can't tell. I took a shower in the shower house. I did finally use the uh, Winnebago bathroom for number one. What time is it? It's about 9.30ish. I'm just getting packed in for my first sleep in the new Travato. Okay, so I was getting ready to lay down and watch some TV and I was setting the air conditioning on the air unit itself and I accidentally pushed in the uh, control panel a little too far. The buttons and the uh, display are like one unit and it kind of pressed into the uh, air conditioning. But I think I can just re remove the filters maybe. Oh, okay. Okay. I need to figure out if I need to turn the power off to do this. Just to play it safe. Uh, AC is this. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's put the AC back on. This. I'm so glad I installed the app because cool low. 
Yes, it works. Okay. Now I gotta put the filter on. Shit. That was easy. Okay, we're back in business. The next day. Good morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. The sound of the AC running was peaceful to me. I know some people think it's a little loud, but I like having that white noise to drown out all the exterior sounds. I think the sleeping bag was a bad choice just because sometimes I would get hot, so I would, you know, uncover myself and then I would get cold and I think it would have been better if I just had regular bed sheets. So I didn't get a ton of sleep. Went to bed around 12. I might have slept an hour, woke up, slept an hour, woke up, slept two hours, woke up. So in total, I'll have to check my watch, but I think I slept maybe four, four to five hours, which isn't a lot for me, but I think a lot of it was I was excited. I'm just excited to get home to show my wife and my doggies. I'm gonna get up, have some breakfast, pack up, get the power cord. It's kind of cool, that's the only thing that I need to disconnect. I don't know if you can see, but there is a sewer hookup, which I'm not using. And there's also a freshwater spigot. So all in all, this is a cool campground. Also, something that I ended up doing was, instead of having the two twin beds on the side and then putting the cushions in the middle, I felt like I was kind of sinking when these little cushions were in the middle. So I just moved the second twin over so it's butt to butt against the other twin and then put these and that's kind of where I rested my head and this actually works a lot better than if these small cushions were in the middle so <laughs> the freshwater tank kind of smells bleachy I'm assuming that the water's been in in the tank for for a while because the water's coming out kind of cloudy and it does smell like there's some sort of chemical or bleach in there maybe so I'm going to just use it to wash my hands and, and for the toilet and everything but as soon as I get home I'm probably gonna drain my fresh water tank into the gray tank dump it get some filters because I need water filters and then just put plain water in the tank okay tofu scrambled that's what's for breakfast this is a uh, spring dragon tea which is kind of an herbal Chinese herbal blend. Okay, just getting everything ready for departure. Pocket doors are latched. All of the windows are closed. Something to keep in mind is on these awning style windows, I don't know if you can see, but had closed it see how there's like a little uh, slot there I think it's so you can crack the window a little bit just to get some kind of airflow uh, and it's locked so maybe at night that's good in fact I think at night I didn't realize I did that and I had the other one this one was cracked open like that but really to seal it up you got to pull it all the way and uh, latch it on the outside so I just stopped at a camping world in South Georgia I bought a new sewer hose and some some of those clear fittings because that's what the youtubers recommend and I'm going to drive another two hours to Bucky's to get some fuel probably and then have some lunch maybe make a sandwich so the fastest I've taken this so far is about 76 77 just you know passing but I'm pretty comfortable driving this between 70 and 75 it's a new car new engine so I don't want to go crazy but I think this has nine speeds and it, it does pretty well once you're up in, up in speed. All 
right, so I stopped at a Bucky's here in South Georgia. I think I'm pretty close to Macon. I had to get gas. I'm not sure if I filled it up all the way, but the pump kept on stopping. So I got a Red Bull, water, cheap sunglasses, Oakley knockoffs. So now I want to make a sandwich. It's like one o'clock, nice loaf of bread, some greens, mayo, cheese and tofurkey. 